Hello, my name is Oliver, call sign Kilo 6 Oscar Lima India, and I'm going to show you how to use the new USGS Did You Feel It form on Winlink Express. As usual, we shall start with a new message, then select template. Make sure that your standard templates is version 1.0.124 or higher. Then expand your standard templates. Find the USGS folder and double click on USGS Did You Feel It? Or click once and then click Select. That will open the new Earthquake Did You Feel It form that was developed with the United States Geological Survey and the Winlink Development Team and an alliance of emergency communications groups all along the West Coast and Hawaii and Arizona and Puerto Rico. All right, for this example, we're going to define the event as an exercise. If you feel a real earthquake, you can actually report the information as a real event. If you click on this link up here and you do have internet, then that will take you to the official USGS Did You Feel It site. The information from the form will go to the same place as the site. Let's return to our form. Today we will do this as an exercise. Let's assume we just felt an earthquake. We click yes here, we enter the date, and let's say it was today. 1028 is pre-filled, that's the current time. But if you felt it, let's say half an hour ago at 10 o'clock, you can change this time to 10 a.m. This is in 24 hour format, so 6 p.m would be 1800 hours or 1800 hours. Click OK and that changes the time right here. You will notice that did you feel it is a required field, the time of the earthquake is a required field, and your location. In this case we're going to fill in my location right here and that should be your street address. So do not enter any GPS coordinates here. For people who do have their GPS coordinates, we strongly encourage you to enter your GPS coordinates and you only have to do it up to four um, decimals. That gives a nice granularity of the form. I already pre-filled those. You can find that information, by the way, on your smartphone using Google Maps or Apple Maps. You just long press on your location and then swipe up and that will give you your coordinates up to four decimals. It's very handy. I will also show you later on how this field and this field can be pre-populated using the GPS function in Winlink Express. We felt the earthquake, so we click yes. And I do want to point out, if you're in an area where an earthquake has occurred and you did not feel it, click no, and please report that. That's valuable information to the USGS and helps identify the boundaries of an event. If you click na yeah, no here, then you're done. You can proceed to the bottom and click submit after you added additional comments if you so choose. But we chose yes, so we will proceed. We'll just fill this out. What was your situation during an earthquake? I was inside a building. I was not asleep. Some people felt it. The shaking was weak. I reacted with very little reaction. I dropped and covered. Was it difficult to stand? No. Did you notice any swinging? No. Did you hear creaking or other noises? No. Did anything rattle? No, I'll continue this relatively quickly. 
and let's say there was no damage. It was a small earthquake. Additional comments. If you're an amateur radio operator, one of the things you may add to this are observations um, that aren't listed in this, or you can fill in how you're sending this. Let's say we're sending this VARA FM via K6YZF-11, which is one of the nearby VARA FM gateways in my area. And then we click Submit. The form will inform us to complete your form submission. Click OK. We click OK. And the local host 8001 window shows up. It does that for every form. You can just go ahead and close this, minimize your browser, and there you see all the information we just entered. And let me point out a couple of things. One, this is a JSON file, and this JSON file will be ingested by the USGS database. The information you just entered by default goes to Did You Feel It Reports? automated at usgs.gov. So it goes directly to the USGS. For areas groups and other emergency communications groups, we recommend that you also always CC your exercise or training coordinator. In this case, my case will be W2JCL, Jeff Leiter, who is the um, exercise coordinator. And that way he gets a record of this. The JSON cannot be changed anymore. Once this is done, it's done. You cannot make any more changes. Um, if you feel like you need to make changes, you just need to close this. And it says, has a message not been posted? Close anyway. If you click yes here, the message is deleted. We'll click no in this example because there are a couple of things I want to point out. So here are all your answers. And the comment we added, VARA FM by K6YZF11. There's a timestamp that you have no control over. You can only enter the time up here. And then, of course, it adds your user ID, your call sign, and the latest version of the form. The call sign is actually very important because the system expects an email from an amateur radio operator whenever you use the WinLink form. If you do not want that, then you can use the web form on the USGS website. Well, we generally recommend that you do that in case there are questions or follow up. It makes it very easy for USGS to contact you. Then we click Post to Outbox. Our message is now in the Outbox, waiting to be sent. And we can send it via VARA FM WinLink or any of these modes from Telnet, which uses internet, Packet, Pactor, Winmore, Ardup, VARA HF, and VARA FM, both of which are very popular um, along the West Coast. And you connect and you send that message. We would recommend that you do this in an organized fashion with your group, preferably because it gives USGS a great test whenever you do an exercise. Shakeout is a classic example. We hope there will be many groups who join us in Shakeout this year to send these kinds of reports. Um, if you have a real event, send it out, preferably within the first two hours of the event. That makes it easier for USGS to associate your report with an earthquake event. Thank you so much for your attention. This is Oliver, K6OLI and we'll be back with information on GPS.